It can take a while to finally land on a malpractice carrier that you really like. And once you're all set up with them, it's very comfortable and easy to just renew your policy year over year. And to be honest, there are many reasons why it makes sense to stay with the same carrier for the long haul. But there are also some drawbacks and potential issues with staying with the same malpractice company for a really long time. Today, we're going to talk about the pros and cons so that you can decide if it's time for you to possibly make a change. Stay tuned. Welcome to Malpractice Insights, the show dedicated to helping healthcare professionals understand medical malpractice insurance and providing you with the solutions you need so that you can get back to the work of practicing good medicine. My name is Jennifer Wiggins, CEO of Aegis Malpractice Solutions, and I'm so glad you've joined us today. All right, let's jump in. So we've talked a few times before about why you should shop around regularly and how to go about doing it in a way that won't annoy your agent or make the carriers mad. We'll do a quick refresher on this at the end of today's episode. But first, let's start our conversation by talking about the pros and cons of staying with the same malpractice carrier for a long time. The first pro is that when you stay with the same malpractice company for a long time, it's a known product. You know how they work, you know when you'll get your bills and policies, you know how to use their systems, their web portal, how to report claims, access their risk resources, and you know what their renewal process looks like each year. It's easy and comfortable. The second benefit to staying for a long time is that you may receive loyalty credits or discounts on your premium. Some carriers also have a retirement savings account or other funds that the carriers might contribute money into each year that you renew with them. So it can be very lucrative to stay with the same company all the way until you retire. And finally, let's be honest, it's just easier to stay with the same company. Switching carriers can be a pain in the neck. There's paperwork involved, you must ensure that the coverages match up so that there's no gaps in the insurance, and then you have to learn a whole new way of doing business, meeting the new carrier representatives, learning the new web portal, how to do business with the new company, etc. There are many reasons why it's best to just stay with the same malpractice carrier for the long haul. But let's flip the script and consider some potential cons of staying with the same carrier for a really long time. First, when you stay with the same company for many years, there's a higher likelihood of overpaying. Unless motivated to do so, a carrier is not going to apply any discretionary credits or really sharpen their pencils unless they absolutely have to. When we work with clients who have been with the same carrier for a long time without ever checking the market, it's typical to see that they are overpaying by 15 to 20% and sometimes more. The second con of staying with the same carrier for too long is that the market has likely changed since you first got your quotes for coverage. It's been a while since you've looked around and it is very possible that what you have today isn't as great anymore. We're regularly seeing carriers offer new features and benefits and finding ways to truly add value, whether that's through educational offerings, claim support programs, stipends, dividends, healthcare grant programs, and other new and exciting offerings to the healthcare community. Unless you're with a carrier that is on the front line of evolving with the market, you could be missing out on some significant benefits. And the final con of staying with the same carrier for too long is, it allows your agent to become lazy. I know, I'm sorry, that's a little ouchy. <laughs> Instead of them proactively looking at options and providing you with feedback on what's happening in the market and if or when it might make sense for you to look around, they are perfectly content to keep you happy with your existing carrier and they don't want to ruffle any feathers by moving your business anywhere else. Trust me, it is way easier for your agent if you just stay put. We generally recommend that doctors shop around for malpractice insurance every three years. At the three-year mark, it's a good time to reassess your current policy. See what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what has changed in your practice, and to take a quick look at the market to make sure that what you're paying is still a fair rate. 
If you're not already working with an agent or a broker, do your homework to find an agent that specializes in medical malpractice, has experience and knowledge in your state or region, and has access to the best carriers available. Your agent can then bring you quote options from competing carriers to give you the chance to review and determine if your current policy still fits your needs or if you might want to make a switch. But while it's important that you do go to market regularly, please don't go overboard. There are some common pitfalls when it comes to shopping around that we want you to be aware of so that you're not sabotaging your own efforts. Let's take a look at those next. First, you need to be aware that shopping too often and hopping from carrier to carrier can sometimes cause problems. Malpractice carriers keep a record of submissions, meaning they keep track of how often doctors reach out to them to request quotes. If an underwriter sees that you've asked for a quote every single year for the past five years, they aren't going to take you very seriously. It's like the boy who cried wolf. They don't know if you have a genuine interest in working with them or if you're just a constant shopper. The result of this is that you may not get the best rate possible or the carrier may eventually choose not to offer you any more quotes. Similarly, if you hop from carrier to carrier every year, it's going to look bad to the market and you'll have a harder time finding a carrier that wants to work with you because you've commoditized your malpractice insurance. Second, remember that malpractice insurance is about much more than simply a piece of paper to get you credentialed. If you're only concerned with price and not value, such as customer service, excellent defense, risk management education, and other important benefits to your medical practice, then you're being short-sighted. While it is important to make sure that you're not overpaying, it is equally important to ensure that you have a quality insurance policy and a solid company that will be there to protect you in the event that you're named in a malpractice claim. And third, you need to be aware that shopping around too much may affect your relationship with your broker. In fact, they may simply tell you no. Since your agent is the one representing you to the various carriers in the marketplace, they need to make sure that they're doing what's best for you, but they also need to maintain good standing with these carriers. The last thing an agent wants to do is to burn a bridge with a carrier because they frustrate the underwriters by shopping around too much. It could result in them losing their appointment with that company and no longer being able to work with them in the future. So for your agent, they have to be very careful how they engage when it comes to shopping around on your behalf. It's a delicate balance between being proactive for their clients and going overboard and getting a bad rap. A good agent will guide you and give you recommendations on when it's time to shop around and when it's time to stay put. If it's been a while since you've shopped around, we're here to help. Click the link in the description box below where you can connect with us via phone, email, or chat today. And if you're listening, please visit us online at aegismalpractice.com. That's A-E-G-I-S malpractice.com. And don't forget that our mailbag link is now live on our website. So if you have a question that you'd like me to answer here on the podcast, check out the link below where you can drop us a line and ask your question. Or schedule a quick 10-minute phone call for a personal consultation to discuss your unique insurance needs. This is Jennifer Wiggins. Thanks for joining us.